In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with Welcome our brother priests and deacons, and of course my brother bishops that have come here in number to celebrate uh, the welcoming of these three priests in, into our brotherhood of the, of the bishops. Most Reverend Father, the Church of Philadelphia asks you to ordain this priest Keith James Chilinski, Christopher Randall Cook, Efren Verdidiano Esmila, to the responsibilities of the Episcopate. Have you a mandate from the Apostolic See? Let it be read. Francis, Bishop, Servant of the Servants of God. To our beloved son, Keith James Chilinski, Christopher <laughs> Cook, Efren, Veridiano Esmilla, from the clergy of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. The bishop at times walks in front of his people, leading. Sometimes the bishop walks behind the people, pushing them. And most of the time, the bishop is called to be in the midst of his people. So there lies, in a sense, the job description of the heart of a bishop, to lead, to at times encourage, but to most of the time, walk in the midst of his people. You resolve to pray without ceasing to Almighty God for his holy people and to carry out the office of high priest without reproach. May God who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, who dwell on high and look upon the lowly, who know all things before they come to be. It is you who establish order in your church through your gracious word, who from the beginning predestined a righteous people born of Abraham, who instituted rulers and priests and did not leave your sanctuary without ministry. May God, who has made you a share in the high priesthood of Jesus Christ, himself pour upon you the oil of mystical anointing and make you fruitful with an abundance of spiritual blessing. Receive the gospel and preach the word of God with all patience and sound teaching. Receive this ring, the seal of fidelity, and adorned with undefiled faith, preserve unblemished the bride of God, the Holy Church. Receive the mitre, and let the splendor of holiness shine in you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you, you may merit to receive an unfailing crown of glory. Receive the crozier, the sign of the pastoral office, and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the church of God.
sisters and brothers that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. I'm so grateful to God for his overwhelming love and mercy in drawing me deeper into relationship with him through his, this gift of the Episcopacy. As I've received such a graced outpouring of love and support from so many in the church, it has struck me very powerfully how the church is truly a family. And I mean that in the deepest sense of the word. It's a family. I'm here because of the power of prayer. So many of you lifted me up for many, many years. It's indeed a great gift and mystery to be chosen as a successor of the apostles. For millennia, there has been an unbroken chain of tradition that leads to Christ. That unbroken chains starts and ends with Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.